Welcome back to the channel. Tonight we will be working on this. Uh, it's a 2020 Volkswagen Tiguan. And we are kind of on the tail end of what everything was wrong with it. And I kind of just wanted to bring you guys along to try to help you show how to verify and identify an issue when you've got a fuse being blown. The backstory on it, uh, either it was jumped backwards or battery, when replaced, uh, connected backwards at some point. The reason why I say that is it was brought to me at a point where the steering was not operational. It's electric steering. Uh, there was a ton of lights on the dash, and the call to me was that all of this occurred after the battery got replaced. And so I decided to take a look at it. For me, not sure if there was some sort of reset, calibrations in order to get everything up and going. But uh, once I have got it and I scanned it, there was no communications with a bunch of modules and the steering was just absolutely dead. It was hard, no assist at all. The power steering system was just not operational and not communicating as well. And so just I did a little bit of digging, research, checking, inspecting, and I ended up finding that the main fuse that uh, comes from the battery before one of the uh, main fuse boxes under the hood, uh, it's like a multi-fuse all-in-one. It's got a bunch of legs, but, it, but each one has a fuse in it. You have to purchase it all as one piece with multi-fuses. So... Uh, two of those legs were basically open or fuses had been blown and one of them was an 80 amp fuse on it and the second one was actually like a 400 amp. Uh, so at that point is where I basically kind of came up with there was an incorrect polarity with the battery. Took out that uh, those legs on that fuse. Went ahead, I ordered, replaced it. Got a lot of things operational. Steering came back up. I believe that's where that 400 amp fuse was uh, dedicated for. And then just after that, uh, there was small minor things to look at. And one of those, the last thing to look at, I will bring you along and let you see what's going on. Just to get you a quick shot as to what I'm talking about or if you guys ever do experience this. Uh, so obviously there's the new battery that they had installed. And as far as where I went to almost right away after researching and, and all the, just the oddball things that the vehicle is doing is, so you've got your main power feed uh, coming in here. And it will actually feed onto this junction here. Now this uh, blade here that has these legs that's the fuse so these legs get bolted on uh, the fuse portion is behind there down there so this metal one that is a bolt and not a nut that is the feed from the battery so it feeds this whole block and from there it goes out on these big fat cables to other portions in the car, like eat directly to the steering or to the other fuse box, so on and so forth. Uh, so that's where I was, replaced that whole fuse, got things going. Other things that were actually damaged or not operational after I got that replaced was the wiper motor was not uh, communicating and operating, the climate control was not working um, I think the uh, almost like an OnStar module thing was not working so um, <clears throat> wiper motor got that up running uh, actually replaced it with a used one that started to work fine there was a fuse blown for the uh, other module and lastly um, was taking a look at the uh, climate module uh, to see what is going on. This this now stops working every so often, um, and it keeps 
not working because it'll blow a fuse. So there's a, a fuse in there. that I am tapped into with my circuit breaker and it's fuse 7 and I will show you what it does so let me see you get the key let's see make sure okay so once when this blows it'll flip this switch and you'll see uh, like a white color there so first of all so it starts, runs, drives. Right now I've got it off. Let's see. Uh, hopefully you pick up the uh, power motor. We are still operating. And I think what I noticed was, so if we go here to the defrost, there we go. It blows the fuse right away. Now the problem with it is, so now it's not operational. I will turn the key off, but now take a, take a listen. Hopefully you can pick that up. The blower motor stays basically uh, stuck in the position, speed position of on as to when this uh, basically shut off and blew the fuse. So that yellow, yellow and I think it's brown or so is the wire that feeds power to this module that comes from that fuse 7. And so we're going to take a look and see the amperage draw, because that's from that fuse, to determine and see if it's going to be the panel that's shorted out and drawing too much amperage, again, from being jumped backwards. Uh, almost thinking of it as like a lightning strike car. So we're going to check and see, or, or this is how you verify uh, you want to chase where the amperage is going, and that's our first point. And in order to get the uh, the blower motor to stop, I have to reset this and key it up. Let's see, I'll take it off of there. And so there. Now it's responsive again. We can turn it off. Turn it on. And fuse is still good. So now I'll again I'll set up the scope and let's see what we get. Okay, so I'm monitoring both voltage and amperage. I will go ahead and key it up so the voltage is the blue trace up top and the bottom one the red one is the amperage i'll go ahead it's actually on right now Let me turn it off so it's off now you can see the uh, charging voltage climbed up, so it's stabilized. So, blower motor is on, and I will go to defrost now. Okay, so there is that uh, graph, the uh, waveform capture that we just took. Uh, obviously, there in the top, you can see the blue. Uh, raise up and stabilize with charging voltage probably somewhere around the uh, 14 volts or so and lower portion in red that's our amperage 
it, you can tell never really rose up too much uh, and then here our quick drop off that's our our kill point where we uh, basically blew the fuse and our amperage barely ever rose off zero so that is how we can determine that our control module is not the guy at fault for drawing too much amperage and blowing the fuse. So from here on out, we'll take a quick look at the wiring diagram and see what else is on that fuse. Okay, so here is uh, the diagram for the system. We do have a manual AC uh, HVAC uh, system. And we are going to look for the 7, uh, Fuse 7, I think it's a 10 amp. And there it is. So, here's our fuse panel on the inside, Fuse 7, 10 amp. We come down here, it splits this way and comes down. Um, let's follow it down for right now. And so it goes over to number 2. and there is number two you come across that is pin 20 the yellow violet that's that's the one that we are on it's the power feed this is the control head the control module whatever you want to call it so that's where we had our amp clamp we know that portion that line that feed on that pin to that module is not the one that's carrying the high amperage. We're looking for amperage above 10 amps. So let's go back to this uh, split point. So <laughs> splits and feeds here on this uh, what they call AC clutch relay and it'll go through when activated by the um, HVAC control module It'll complete the circuit, go through junction, and then some more junctions, and then it comes down, let's see, right there. So, same page, right there, and what does that show us? It is the AC compressor clutch. So, that is definitely a possibility of what uh, can be blown a fuse. Now if you think about it and remember when does it blow? It blows when we go to the defrost and in defrost most cars will click on the compressor. So uh, judging by this circuit and what the diagram is showing us for that fuse it looks like there those are the only two points for consumers Obviously, we can have a shorted portion in the line, so on and so forth. But being that this is due from an electrical issue started by an incorrect polarity connection, uh, I'm going to go with our wiring is okay. And we have wigged out some electrical components on the car, just like uh, the others that I've done off camera. And the clutch compressor compressor clutch seems to be a good candidate at this point from what we are seeing so just to again verify I'm gonna put an amp clamp there as well and take a measurement okay so there's my amp clamp obviously there's a compressor and that kind of brownish connector it's a single wire that is that feed for the clutch. Let me see. Let's see if we can get a better look. So there you go. So that is see that green wire coming out. That's a single wire that's gonna go over to the clutch there. And the brown wire coming off of it actually grounds on the body right there where the uh, there's kind of a torque screw right there that is that ground point so it's grounding the clutch 
has two wires. It grounds on the body of the compressor. The green wire is the power feed that comes from that fuse. Okay, so I'll get you on the screen as I start run the car and go into defrost. The green channel is going to be the second amp clamp. Okay, so <laughs> there we go. There's a good, good look at uh, what happened. Let's uh, kind of zoom in here at the end point. So, clearly our green is our second amp clamp. Um, as soon as we killed the voltage, obviously the amperage shot up. Uh, way looks like tapping out at the... Uh, um 20 amps let's see so yeah so it was uh already up there at uh yeah it looks like about 19 and a half amps and that's uh consistent constant you can see the way it's pulsing it so there's our answer we've got two circuits, the green and the red, that are shared by the same fuse. That is a perfectly good way to help identify a circuit, specific circuit, that is blowing your fuse. So, uh, again, nothing crazy. Could have been done in probably other ways and fashions obviously unplugging things is a good effective crude way as well um, but obviously you got to know the um, wiring diagram and know what you are trying to test on that circuit all right so i hope you guys enjoy that kind of quick easy explanation again just verifying the circuits with the scope so you can visually see where the amperage shoots up. Um, this is the last of it. The customer is going to need to uh, replace the compressor. Uh, but again, all due to mishandling and inappropriately changing the battery and making a mistake. This could have ended up a whole lot worse. Think about it. It's a 2020 Volkswagen. That's a... Very, very late model European vehicle. You know how many modules are on here, and he is getting lucky on uh, just the things that have uh, gone bad and I've been able to bring up back to life. So, um, this is probably gonna be the worst as far as bigger expense, but um, that's all that's left in order to keep the vehicle from blowing that fuse. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching as always. And that is our wrap on this one. And we'll keep on moving. So, until next time, that's all. Thanks.